Hello, I just saw Ms. Oracle here with a pop-in collective message. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a collective reading, so this reading may or may not resonate with you. It is not time-specific or sign-specific, so please take the messages that apply and simply leave the rest. Happy Easter or Happy Resurrection Day, either which you celebrate, or some both. Um, I don't know what kind of reading this is going to be. It's either going to be a very karmic reading or an overview of this month ahead, okay? I'm not sure which one it is, because sometimes when I do a collective, it gives me a vibe as a whole, as a collective, and for other times, it gives me a very specific story. So I'm not sure which one it is, but I do feel a very draining energy here. And um, I had a synchronicity today. I saw two iguanas tussling it out, and it was like one was trying to dominate the other, and as I'm sat here reflecting on that, um, I got a vibe of somebody being in bed with an enemy, okay? Because <laughs> those two were like, it, I don't know, it was giving mating season. But at the same time, one was trying to assert its dominance. I assume that was the male, but I don't know. It was like really aggressive. <laughs> it was a very aggressive interaction. So again, I don't know what I'm going to get, Okay. We'll see. We'll see based on the cards that come out in bed with the enemy. It's quite wild. Um, I'm going to be grabbing the basic tarot for this one. I painted my hair. So if you see my fingers looking dark, that's, that's hair paint. <laughs> I had to touch up a few. Um, my highlights were showing again. So just don't mind me. So my me and my experiment. All right, let's see. I was this close to not doing it because as I'm sat here, I feel a very weird vibe. And I was like, I probably just might not do a reading because I'm getting sleepy just being sat here. <laughs> and it's not even that late. <clears throat> I might get the iguana message. I don't know why. But we're going to see. We're going to see. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Nature always gives me signs. Always. Almost every day. What do we need to know for the collective? Can I get an overall message here? The most important, most relevant for all viewers concerned. Please and thank you. What do we need to know? We have the lovers. <laughs> wow okay so the, i'm seeing somebody <laughs> who's back and forth about two connections this is going to be a specific reading that's that's right off the riff okay i see somebody comparing two relationships yes so this is someone who i don't know if they're juggling at the moment but they're definitely juggling this decision in their mind I feel like somebody has been back and forth about two significant relationships. This is what the reading wants to discuss. And it's so literal that it's like, I couldn't make this energy up even if I tried. All right. So the overall energy is the lovers. That speaks of choices in partnerships or in life. The lovers can also speak of spiritual connections. This is why I say there are two. This reads like two, two, two. Okay. We have the lovers, the two of pentacles. And the two of cups i'm seeing two different relationships that's the immediate thing that i got so we have this guy here in the center i always say this is my pinhead because he has a very funny looking red hat and he's back and forth doing this weird dance with two pentacles like oh uh, i don't really know okay yeah this is one relationship with the two of cups and this is another with the lovers i heard something about sexual compatibility i don't know where that came from anyway one of them feels a little, I don't know which one it is, but they both have something this person enjoys. <laughs> okay, I don't know what it is. Um, I feel one is ordained over the other, but they met the other one for a reason as well. So it's almost like both connections, there is significance in why they met the person. But I feel like one is likely more emotionally fulfilling and more balanced and calm and soothing over the other. Um, okay. 
but I'm going to see here because I see this person has a decision to make with a page of cups to the ten of wands this is someone who feels pressure to extend themselves emotionally to either i feel like they're two separate relationships entirely because the way this pinhead is in the center well i could i could decide on this side or i could decide on that side they're two completely different relationships and i don't know what either of them have to offer other than there, you know what I'm I know what I'm gonna do now. <laughs> I know exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm going to expand on both because I don't know who's in this predicament, but this reading is here for a reason. And I find I've never seen this in all my years of reading. I've never gotten this before. So this is gonna be fun. Okay, so page of cups to the ten of wands is well, who do I extend myself to? This person feels burdened and the sense of pressure to either apologize, extend themselves emotionally to come out of the cold because this is someone who feels abandoned left out they're they're emotionally they have hang-ups here it's like i don't want to be out in the cold i don't want to feel lonely for some so now they feel the pressure is on to extend themselves but to who i'm hearing because they have two relationships this is someone who i don't know y'all this person got options because it's like well do i go with this person because this is what this relationship brought me or do i go with that this is someone who's clearly disconnected from being decisive with their heart okay because they're looking at two relationships from a pretty interesting perspective. I'm I'm very curious. I'm going to pull I'm going to pull on the person in question, the one who's in the middle here like doing this little dance like, "Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> what do I do, right?" Yeah, we have the hangman. Yeah, we have the 3 of pentacles. This is someone who they've gained a new perspective likely. Um, they've maybe been stagnant in this third party situation with the three of pentacles. They've maybe been stagnant in some kind of like work thing, but I really get this vibe of like, well, who do I, mm, which relationship do I entertain? Because this is someone who sees, as I said, maybe qualities in both that they like. Okay. And I feel one is maybe more familiar than the other. <laughs> we have the lovers choices, choices. I mean, it makes sense. The lovers is a card of choices and love. Wow, what else do we need to know about this very interesting story? <laughs> Judgment. It's going to be a final decision. Whatever this person decides is going to be like it. This person is also maybe feeling called to make a decision. Judgment speaks of final decisions. It's like when the gavel is hit, it's done. It's, it, there's no going back, okay? That's judgment. Um, that could also be a card of resurrecting things, second chances, but this is like the final call. There's no going back once this person makes this decision. This is also maybe now or never energy. Maybe this person feels compelled by the divine, the universe to make a final, final, I'm here, final decision. My goodness. Yeah, with the magician. This is also maybe an opportunity someone's trying to manifest. Okay. Sagittarius energy, Aries. Wow, I can't make it up. When I tell you final, final, what did I say? I got a vibe of this person having quite a few options. The seven of cups in the reverse is no more options. I don't know if the divine is showing this person that there aren't any other options or if this is this person feeling this way or reaching. Maybe this person always juggled both situations at some point, but I'm getting this vibe of like, I'm in the clear. There's no, <laughs> there's no deluding myself. I know. The seven of cups in the reverse is like a reality check. Someone is getting a reality check. Maybe this, this story is here because this person has already come out of this back and forth predicament. Like I really feel maybe I'm seeing something about this person having connected a lot to a person intimately. It's like intimately there's something there because I said something about that, that compatibility. Okay, maybe this person confused lust for love. But I feel like this is someone who's no longer confused. They're seeing through the haze. This is this is the haze. This is, oh my God, this mushroom cup, this head cup, this snake cup, this da -da -da jewels cup, this dragon cup, which cup? In the reverse, they know. And it's final because the divine is encouraging it. There go those dogs again. Yeah, the emperor. This is someone who wants to take charge and take lead on this final decision. This is someone who is, is pretty held back. This person could have been betrayed even. I'm seeing the four of coins to the king of swords. This person could be held back, stingy with their time, energy, or resources. They might have a friend that's checking things out for them as well in the king of swords. This person 
Oh, wow. These dogs too, the timing. Do y'all hear them? This person had a, whoa. <laughs> I'm hearing if you didn't know then, you sure as heck know now. Someone, well, I'm hearing mortified. Someone was mortified. I don't know why, but I feel like one of the relationships with the Ten of Swords to the Five of Cups, they felt they were utterly betrayed here. There's so much regret. A cycle closed out completely because a truth shed a light on this betrayal. It's like it keeps getting worse. This person feels like they're bad luck at now. This person could be haunted by their, their choices, haunted by their denial, haunted by their indecision. This is someone who's haunted that they didn't make a choice at all because now they see clearly through a betrayal that they should have never been back and forth in the first place. This is weird, really what I'm getting. That's so much just at the bottom. So what brought home this reality check? Like, I don't know. This is someone who, it's like they're very clear who they want to come out of the cold from. This person could also be healing abandonment wounds at this time. Wow, page of pentacles in the reverse. Something did not get off the ground. Someone could have also lied to them about something. When I see the Page of Pentacles in the reverse, it's like a false promise. It's like maybe someone, ooh, I can't make it up. Maybe someone was incredibly good looking. Okay, I'm getting this very pretentious energy. Like, yeah, I look really nice, but I come with hangups. I'm hearing the word possessive. I'm hearing the word controlling. I also feel this energy is the type to like tap a person's phone or like, track their location or monitor their their devices it feels that way the devil to the queen of wands is also like lustful um it's giving siren energy i don't know why a siren is like oh i'm going to lure you to your <laughs> demise because i'm very good looking i'm irresistible beach pentacles in the reverse i don't know if someone's trying to dig themselves out of a hole as well financially with five of coins in the reverse it's like five of coins upright is financial problems in the reverse is trying to improve them because there's a false seed planted i also feel maybe someone was fake in some way let's see what is this about wow something was a work proposal a crooked eight of coins is like i don't know if someone suggested for a person to hey you should be a part of this hey we should work on this together or hey you should put an effort in this there's some kind of false proposition for a person to basically i'm hearing do what they're good at so it's kind of like let's say you i don't know you love to play jazz music oh you should totally come out to this restaurant i have a gig for you you would be perfect for this something to that effect it's like someone knew what would stroke a person's ego someone knew what would get them going do you get what i mean there's strategy in this person's approach one of the relationships i'm really feeling it Okay, this is the backstory. This is telling me how the problem or the betrayal was identified. Someone has suggested or proposed a gig of a sorts or some kind of job here for a person's finances to maybe improve. Okay, yes, but <laughs> this person gave and received with this individual. It's like, okay, well, I'm going to do what I know how to do. I'm going to apply myself. Something was financially motivated. And that's where this person was likely caught up because I feel like this is someone who didn't realize they would be carrying all the weight. This is someone carrying all 10 wands. And this is someone who is giving and receiving, but they're probably giving more than they're receiving. They're probably the only ones putting in the effort. It's like, oh, I'm thinking I'm going to make some money by playing, you know, <laughs> I don't know, my saxophone at this jazz lounge. Next thing I know, I'm cleaning the lounge. I'm cleaning up the dishes. I'm playing busboy. I'm helping out here. It's like I'm doing all this work and people have people aren't doing anything. I'm not paid for my, my performance. Like there's something here where a person baited an individual to put an effort somewhere or in something or even in the relationship, no knowing dang well they weren't going to give back to this person knowing dang well they're going to trap this person I'm hearing in some shape or form to keep giving to them. This person has so many burdens they're carrying because they were tricked. 
it's like this person took a chance and and landed themselves straight into trouble where now they're likely overextending themselves ace of wands oh wow um there was also like an invitation that's when intimacy likely started i don't know why this is <laughs> this is here but this is like either a project or things got hot okay the emotions it didn't take much for this person to get them that way either the page of cups is hi i like you i admire you it's a very light-hearted way of emotional expression um that's when things got heated okay <laughs> this is literally a backstory spirit is saying this situation is under judgment a final call is being made because a person is no longer confused or deluded now they're showing me how a person got confused and deluded okay so as i said we're gonna go with this jazz musician this person thought they had a gig with somebody who admired them this person who admired them not only got them to invest in a situation where they would be giving more of themselves, I feel either in services or finances, they also managed to charm the pants off of this person because I'm seeing that they have since proceeded in a more intimate way. Let's continue. We have a Queen of Cups. Now this could be a Pisces, Cancer or a Scorpio, but what this is telling me, wow, this person, it's almost like i'm getting this very sweet energy the ace the king of wands is this this person felt the need to pursue somebody because of their sweet nature okay it's like wow i'm attracted to this person because they seem so caring kind um generous emotionally this person could could be a um um a parent for some of you a single parent because i'm not necessarily seeing committed energy they don't have to be but the queen of cups or the king of wands um are usually single energies it's like this person didn't see any qualms they didn't see anything wrong with this person this person's very physically attracted to them okay it's almost like they ticked all their boxes off physically as well and it helped that they were sweet okay I don't know if this person even wanted to maybe get... Mm, let me see why this person shows up as a Queen of Cups. Ace of Swords to the World card. I don't know where this dropped in my spirit. Somebody could have done a background check on a person. I don't know where that came from. Somebody maybe tried to check a person online. Maybe there's something that they saw online, maybe a LinkedIn profile, something about their credentials. This is someone they, they, they feel was very independent. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups, King of Wands dynamic, because look, you see how this King of Wands is very fixated on this Queen of Cups? And it's like there's attraction there. This person wasted no time. And I feel like this is someone who maybe tried to find a truth about them online. Maybe they saw their profile online and thought, wow, this person does so well for themselves. Why do I feel like the penny's about to drop at some point? Like, I'm seeing the lead up and I'm just like, so when, so where does the truth come out? Because I see somebody trying to find out a truth online. It's like they're that wild, they're that sprung over a person. Um, they're so kind. So where is the butt? And I'm feeling it in every fiber of my being. There is a butt. So what is the butt? Maybe this person has a nice butt but <laughs> what is it right so what is it spirit because this is really like an interesting backstory oh we have the queen of swords ten of pentacles in the reverse queen of pentacles there are way too many here i'm seeing two women i'm seeing one man I'm seeing almost like a meeting. I'm hearing the word dictator energy. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. I'm seeing a, a second female. Now, I don't know if this is a mother figure or if this is like an older woman. Because typically the Queen of Swords can be wiser. Let's see why this, this Ten of Pentacles in the reverse is like... Um, instability financially like okay why is this queen of swords in the mix the devil to the queen of wands oh 
Ooh. I'm hearing the word demonizing someone. I'm seeing three women here, right? Three. One of them is not romantic. It almost reads like an advisor. I don't know if there's a mother figure of a of a potential person around because I'm seeing I'm seeing here. You see how it looks like this woman is advising and consulting these two. It's like, hey, you should do rah rah rah. This Queen of Swords is speaking directly to this, I feel, couple who I mean this King of Wands and this Queen of Cups read like a mismatch. And then I saw the Queen of Wands come out with the devil. And I'm hearing the jokes on you. So where why do I feel like a person demonized another individual? Oh man. I see what's happening here. Four of Wands. Six of Swords. Someone could have moved. Tell me a little bit more because I'm seeing this Queen of Swords demonizing. It's like I have an opinion. Tell me a little bit more about this Queen of Swords. Nine of Wands. Eight Swords. Wow. So Eight of Swords speaks of entrapment. Eight of Swords is <laughs> putting somebody in their head. Nine of Wands is someone who's hurt. I'm hearing the word consultation. There is someone who consulted an individual to get them in their head. It's almost like they wanted to make it seem as though they were helping them out of their head. But I'm really seeing something about demonizing a person. With the Nine of Wands, Eight of Swords, it's almost like what this person said made somebody question their choices even more. Made them almost paralyzed to their decision making. I'm seeing one too many fingers in the pie. This all, um, and this Queen of Swords is trying to consult in some way, shape, or form. But with the Five of Wands, it's causing conflict. It's also an energy of competitiveness. And the Two of Swords speaks of delusions, indecision, and denial. This is someone who's in ways aiding. Aiding to something going south here. Because I'm seeing a match with the King and Queen of Wands with their backs turned to each other. And I'm seeing um, a Queen of Cups and a Queen of Swords of Significance. Tell me a little bit more about this um, Queen of Cups. Six of Cups in the reverse. This could be someone that a person knows from their past, but they don't have the best of memories with. It could read like a karmic soulmate as well for me personally when it's in the reverse like that. Disharmony. Three of Cups, third party narratives, friends. I'm getting the vibe of like an older person consulting an individual on their decision making. But it's like a friend, a family member. Um, tell me why the go man is here. Ten of Wands. Three of Swords. Ace of Cups. Wow, I'm seeing someone who's so emotional about the person. You know what this reads like? It reads like someone went to consult with an individual because they're emotional. They are torn, heartbroken, and very burdened about a connection. And they've demonized this connection as something evil because of that, okay? Because I'm seeing Ace of Cups coming up funny is a lot of tears. Three of Swords in the reverse is like someone trying to heal from heartbreak. The Strength card could speak of needing the strength to endure things. Um, it could also speak of ego. And the Ten of Wands, which is burdens. It's like someone is carrying the burdens and the emotional pain associated with the person. King of Swords. Yeah, it's like someone puts on a mask, but they're really burdened and emotionally absolutely torn about someone. 
and they yes i can't make it up the eight of wands is conversations talk and it's like they went to talk to somebody and someone had very stiff opinions that's why it's like be mindful who you discuss your emotional hang-ups and relationships matters to because it's like they they aren't you they're not in the situation at most they can do is advise but i heard they demonized someone i'm hearing that they don't even know <laughs> so it's like okay And I feel like this is someone who could have two women in their life, uh, whether one is romantic or platonic or they're both platonic, who has demonized, I feel, a counterpart. Because this queen, king and queen of wands are a match, but they have their back turned. Tell me more about this queen of swords. This queen of swords feels funny to me. Temperance angel. This is someone who's a healer. This could be someone who, nine of pentacles, the star, there is a healer here, y'all. There's someone who's independent, earth angel energy, the star is a healer, someone is a healer, someone here could be a star seed, okay, it's giving a divine healer. So who is the confusion around? Because this is confusing me, dang near almost. I'm seeing three feminines, one masculine. <laughs> Tell me more. I wanna I wanna wrap it up with this this proposed this proposition. What came of that proposition before things got confusing with so many people? Because it's like wherever this person applied themselves, I'm seeing a lot of people in intercepting with a person's decision making protect yourself needing to keep yourself safe i'm hearing energetically as well yeah copycat there's someone here who tried to emanate a person's true true divine counterpart but they're figuring out quick enough why this person was fake and i feel like they got another individual in on convincing this person <laughs> to stay away from somebody okay we have bugaboo so there's definitely a pesky energy who's who's fixated here the situation is about to explode so someone is likely called to have boundaries with the person who is doing way too much okay who has maybe become a hater Announcement, expression, and revealing. Caught up, yeah. Um, finding evidence, getting caught. Someone wants to put a person on blast for being a two-timer. Okay. But I'm, I need to go back to the beginning. Before multiple people started intercepting. Put these back i want to rewind what happened here i'm done this was the trap I, you saw me rewind why so what did i do with rewind i wanted to go back to the beginning i'm like okay we were getting somewhere in this story there was a, a false proposition made to trap a person into giving more from themselves than they were getting in a situation. Someone was wildly attracted to this person at that. So it was easy. It was a done deal because they're very sweet. And I'm like, so what went wrong? And then I got the goat man. They're like, that was the real trap. Someone here basically copycatted the energy. It's like, yes, I'm sweet. I'm cuddly. I love you. It's almost like this person mirrored all the qualities they were looking for in a partner. They, they, they actually loved being intimate with them as well. And it made working for them over time and giving and investing to them easy. Because it's like, I like it here. Even if this is draining me, even if I'm giving so much of myself, even if I'm pouring more into a situation that I'm getting out of it, I love it here. <laughs> this is the trap. There's a possessive energy around. But the question is, how did it become a trap? Why is the goat man here? Wow. Because now this person is for some reason in their head 
about destiny changing on them why why are this why is this person in their head all of a sudden i'm hearing pressure knight of pentacles they feel pressure they feel pressure for the ultimate offer knight of coins to me is usually a person who offers solid commitment or offers something solid of themselves they're in their head the eight of swords speaks of this person's really bugging out eight and nine swords they're really bugging out about some kind of offer i also feel something maybe a person wants to make something public whoa <laughs> okay 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 rewind 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 i hope you guys are following me so from the top of the reading we saw two connections that were of significance this person was back and forth about both it's like well i love this one because this has da, 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 but i really love that one because i have an amazing soul connection with that one but, da, 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 but the intimacy here is good and this person's so sweet so uh, right i've never personally been in a predicament like that before i hope i never have to be but that's what I'm reading on this person, right? So this person was in two minds about two relationships that both had benefits. This person loved, I'm telling you, loved giving and receiving with an individual, even though they were really overdoing it, even though there was nothing really coming back to them other than a person who they had Google eyes for because they were very attractive, very sweet to them. This person didn't have to do much, okay? All of a sudden, I'm seeing this energy, right? That the gold man is now here. It's an energy of possessiveness. Like you've made it this far. You've invested so much. You are here for a while, but I want you here to stay. Someone put pressure on this person to either make the ultimate offer or to express themselves publicly online to seal the deal. All of a sudden, this is someone who's now completely in their head consumed by the thought of making this official yeah if this is the one why would this consume you is this is what is giving this person the the epiphany they needed i want to know why this person's in their head all of a sudden because think about it let's rewind this is someone who was absolutely sprung very attractive and it was so easy to give to this individual it was so easy to break their back in something that was actually a false seed to begin with but this person couldn't see it because they were maybe thinking with something else a different head okay this is someone who i don't know if they had abandonment wounds that they were trying to it's like companionship it's this person sweet blah 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 i'm getting now this goat man energy is here because this is the real person who's possessive. I don't know if this individual had the audacity to go and demonize someone else they're tethered to, but this is a person who's like, now I want you to commit to me. Now I want you to give me the ultimate form of commitment and be public with it too. It's like they want this person to prove or like have a public display of affection or something online. It really reads like that. And now this person is bugging the heck out because they weren't... They were in pursuit from their carnal desires. The King of Wands and the Ace of Wands is definitely thinking with passion, lust, drive, an ego stroke. This is not someone who was real. I'm not seeing love here. This is someone who was thinking with other, other forms of excitement. They were like, yeah, I'm motivated because I'm applying myself and I'm ra -ra -ra. There was an illusion behind the finances because i see this person struggling it's like they have to keep pouring in keep it's like this little mirage i don't know it reads like this person fell for a mirage and now when push comes to shove someone wants a public display of affection online this is someone who is bugging the heck out i don't know if there are photos that somebody wants to post this person's bugging out i see <laughs> Why is this person bugging out? This person is so worried because they want their freedom. The, the fool is, I want to be free. It's like, I want to break free. I've downloaded that song in my head for a minute now. This person wants their freedom. 
So tell me something. What weren't you happy here? Like this really reads like a confused individual. This person maybe now has a sense, like the Ace of Swords speaks of the truth, the Four of Wands speaks of commitment. Maybe now this person has a clear vision of who and what they want to. This is such a interesting person, but I'm telling you, someone is angry with them. Someone is like, no, you gave and received with me. No, you accepted these love offers. No, you've been intimate with me. No, like this person is argumentative with them because it's like, well, why do you not want to now commit to me? Why do you not want to now, you know what I mean? There's pressure here. Yeah, it's like someone also is not speaking to them as much. I'm seeing this woman on this card trying to pry open the lion's mouth, causing fights. There's drama here now. Tell me more about this person who is literally, I'm t when I tell you this person can't sleep, this person's in their head constantly, they're petrified. They're obsessed, they're upset, I mean. Well, maybe they are obsessed too. The Five of Cups, they absolutely regret this is someone who probably doesn't want to come out of the room. Like, that's how intense this is. How did this happen? There, Once upon a time, this person was back and forth because they saw so many great qualities in a situation that they now want to run from. Because they were looking at it from this perspective and this perspective alone. There was something in it for them, either financially. There's something that drove this person to do it. This person could have people pleaser tendencies because it's like, how are you working this hard with such a minuscule suggestion? It's like this person didn't even give it a second thought. They're like, yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. Like, I don't know if this person is just really cute, really attractive. It's giving, I will do it, sure, why not? Like this person was like <laughs> completely uh, under the under the indruk is what we would say in Dutch, right? It's like, oh, wow, this suggestion and coming from such an attractive person like yourself, I will definitely, definitely do this. Now this person feels so nervous about something that could make it online. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This person's waiting on them. They're like, so aren't you not going to post this? Are you not going to ask me this? Someone could be waiting on a person to pop the question. Somebody could be waiting on a person to post something online. This person feels so nervous. Why are they this nervous? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. This person wants to lighten the load. The fool always takes a leap of faith, but they pack lightly. This person wants their freedom, but why? What's so terrible about this individual? They, I heard, I love it here. I really, this person was in absolute bliss. What happened? This is actually quite like, I'm just, I'm just shook here. Like how, wow. This doesn't represent their happily ever after a crooked 10 of cups. This was like a, literally a mirage. This is someone who, you know, it's so funny. Because I saw the two different cards, right? I saw the lovers and the two of cups, speaking of two separate relationships. This is someone who's realizing this is not the person I'm in love with. The ten of cups coming up funny is like, this is like emotional fulfillment for the long term. This is like the happy, I can see myself expanding with this person. I can see myself in love and having a family. I can see myself committed to this person. The ten of cups is the end all be all emotionally. It's like, I'm not short of anything. There's belongingness, there's togetherness. This person can't see it with the individual they were so excited about. They can't see it. It's not something they could force. Not only that, not only that. You want to know what's at the bottom of the deck. This person is still watching the individual they actually have those feelings for. That's sad. The best way I can explain it is if someone was tempted to give of themselves initially from their people-pleasing traits, because I saw that person working super hard, right, with a suggestion. It's like, sure, I'll play at your jazz club till I don't know, four in the morning, even though I got work the next day. It's like, how do you just up and decide to be that nice <laughs> and give that much of yourself? I'm hearing from a complete stranger. So for some of you, this person doesn't even know this individual that well, but they were just that attracted to them and just that impressed. And it didn't take much for them to just hop on in and give and give and give uh, give of themselves. 
and now somebody wants permanent like they want something permanent or are something for some of you a person here could be a public figure or someone here knows that if this was made public a lot of people would be talking about it like there's this nervousness about either somebody posting something making it official at all or it or it being made online because this person has a stiff eye on the other connection they were into it's like now all their their monitoring and their obsession is like that's how you know there's somebody they keep watching that's why this is under judgment it's like hello this is under judgment because this person feels this way in a situation they do not want to commit to this person isn't eating i i just get this heavy sense of nervousness gloominess this person's haunted by what they actually love they keep watching that the potential of that connection yes the same one that they juggled with a person that they were into intimately the same person they were back and forth with from the beginning this person could feel trapped in their thoughts yeah what can i say the chariot is in the reverse this person feels stuck if you are in emotional bliss in a relationship that you are in love with, like a person you're in love with, why would you feel trapped? Why would you feel stuck? The common sense is not commoning here. Think about it. <laughs> if I'm in a relationship and I am enjoying, I'm having the best time of my life, I'm with a person that I love, that's my long-term companion, I would feel like the, the world is our oyster. I would want to travel, I want to have fun, I would want to... Why would I be anxiety-ridden, up in bed at night, grieving and feeling stuck? That is not your person. It's like, jing! <laughs> How is this person trying to rationalize the obvious? This is someone who feels like they can't go nowhere in life. Their chariot is halted. Now, I don't know if there's another reason why this person feels like they can't move forward, but this person is haunted. They feel that way. And I'm hearing that's why they demonize the, their counterpart. But this has nothing to do with their counterpart. This is everything to do with them and their inability to make choices aligned with their heart. I, <laughs> I can't understand it for the life of me. Four of Cups. They can't move forward in a situation that they're emotionally unavailable to this speaks of emotional unavailability somebody pursued something because they don't know what it means to be alone for a bit they were thinking with something else <sighs> i'm not even gonna go there they applied themselves because they felt a sense of i don't know recognition or validation or importance in that situation next thing you know this person now wants to hunker down with them and they are anxiety ridden because they know it's not the one they don't want this person emotionally that's the only i'm telling you y'all if i'm in a relationship and i'm booed up and i'm in bliss you won't hear from me you will not see me for a long time on this huge app y'all <laughs> it's like i will be having the best time of my life i will be building things obviously i would still run the channel i'm just being cheeky but no for real think about it this is someone who is <laughs> now they're defensive i feel like someone is uh, still demonizing their person we have the five of swords to the high priestess to the moon to the tower this is someone who could be now defensive because the same people that they <laughs> once upon a time invested in and i say people because i feel like it's not just a person of interest it's either their family, the friends associated. This this is completely integrated at this point because this person gave and received with these people for a while. They're now, I feel, trying to demonize a person. A high priestess is divine feminine energy as well. It could even be an intuitive. 
they're bad mouthing a person they're talking nasty about the person they're like this person is negative this person is evil this person is really <laughs> meanwhile this person is clearly unhappy I feel like this is someone who knows the truth, but they haven't been honest with others and they're under judgment for exactly that. It's like the real truth is someone was sprung. Someone was excited to apply themselves. Someone was very attracted to a person. They embodied all their desires. But when push comes to shove, they are not ready to commit to that individual because they know in their gut it's not the one. My parents knew they were it for each other in two weeks of knowing each other. No questions asked. Married in a month. And they were married for 23 years, y'all, and counting. And then he passed. But when you know, you know. I literally pulled the anxiety card from a different deck. Attached, I'm telling you right now. This person's petrified of being shackled to someone they know in their heart is not it for them that's the real trap you know when you're with somebody who the divine ordained for you and you know when you're with somebody who's not it but that's for the awakened ones i can't say for people who are asleep i can't speak on their behalf because let's face it who we were when we were asleep is a completely different sense of consciousness now we know, we feel, we move through that energy. This is someone who could be going through an awakening, realizing and absolutely petrified of the fact that they might be shacked up and shackled up with someone they know in their heart of hearts is not it forever. I really feel like this person wants to, them to commit to them, y'all. I'm seeing kicked out. Ooh, let me get the karmic deck because this is wild someone fell for a karmic a karmic trap what's wrong with this someone yeah yo i don't know why the deck did this but i'm seeing the siren much like a siren i know i'm hard to resist this person was hard to resist I'm, i feel like this person is very attractive now they're throwing tantrums because they're realizing somebody doesn't want them like that that's sad they don't want them like that I fight for what I want in life and that includes love. Spirit is laughing and it's coming in the reverse because this is someone who's fighting a lose-lose battle. You are fighting with something that... <laughs> it's like whether this person commits to them or not, they will, they're, they're miserable because they're not honoring their truth. If I'm in a relationship with someone, if I'm married to someone and this person feels like the chariot in the reverse, the eight of swords, nine of swords, and the five of cups, I would say, dang, does this person feel like they're imprisoned? Does this person feel like they're in a hellhole? Why are these cards so ugly? Why does this person feel like they're not progressing in life? Why does this person feel like they're up at night? with these worries why does this person feel like they're trapped why does this person feel like they're depressed and grieving when they're with me heck go about your bad self because <laughs> this is a lose lose this is someone who i really don't know if this person is watching but i really feel this individual is is very very much i'm telling you karmic energies be karma king this is someone who wanted a person to give them a chance and it didn't take much because they're very attractive. They are, I'm getting this energy, they're familiar. I don't know why, maybe this person knew them from the past or they they represent their type, okay? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm seeing the entrapment card in the reverse. This is someone who, uh, I don't know how, it says I have them trapped, they are not going anywhere. I don't know, but this person is now defensive. That's what I do know. This person just got defensive. This person went from feeling upset, worried in their head, overthinking, to now being defensive with the person that is has high expectations of them. I hate how you light up their world. The truth is they despise how the other person affects this individual positively. That's the truth. So those have the most to say, I'm hearing. <laughs> it's like they have the most to say 
about a person that actually lights up their world versus this karmic who has this person walking around looking like this it makes no sense to me it makes no sense to me nothing here makes sense yeah i feel like the divine is encouraging a person to protect themselves at this point in time because this is someone who made a bed and now they need to lie in it with this karmic and that brings me back to the top of the reading where i saw those two iguanas wrestling it out with each other because it's like let them handle this mess on their own <laughs> okay this is like for some of you this person has a mad stiff evil eye on the real the divine feminine because they ha they think they're somehow to blame for this mess no no this is a match made in hell and this is this is how it rolls that's nobody else's fault but this person who did not honor their true their true heart their, their true heart's desires and also this is someone who wants them trapped for whatever superficial reason okay they swear they're in love when it's like i'm sorry if i really love a person and they feel like this in my presence i would set them free go 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 find your happiness go that's what love is <laughs> love is not confinement love is not forceful right love is not you need to stick to me to buy my side for the rest of rest of your life against your own free will and understanding i'm done i'm paranoid that they're leaving me yeah that's literally what the card says it's a lose-lose because this is someone who is just not with it, y'all. This is, they're not with the program because this was not the divine program. You know, and when I sit and I think about my past, <laughs> it's like, I can remember when I knew in my heart that that, that someone I was dating um, wasn't it. This was like back in, I don't know, 2018. I told this person, like, this is not going to work out. This person got mad. This person <laughs> got defensive. And I said in my heart, I know it's not it's not right. You might be upset with me now, but you're going to be happy I said that. Because why would I waste anybody's time? You get what I mean? It's just not fair. It's not fair. That person <laughs> was like, mark my words, you're going to marry me on like the second date. And I'm just like, y'all, we were not a match. Um, and I didn't want to waste that person's time a second further. So, yeah, when you know and you know it's not it, don't waste a person's time for whatever reason. If it's for their finances, don't even think about it. If it's for the intimacy, just be celibate. It's like, learn to not hold on to people for superficial reasons are for your own egoic needs. Let people go, let people be, let people do what it is they want to do because their actions will show you. But trying to, to hold a death lock on a person to prove something to yourself is not love. Ding dong. It's like, if these cards come out and someone is supposedly with me, oh, sweetie, no, go, just go. Someone could be using emotional manipulation to keep a person around, which, ew, but that's in here too. What a mess. Yes, I sold them a dream rooted in the seven deadly sins. What did I say? This was a whole mirage, y'all. And someone is only realizing it now because the divine called judgment on a situation that is so obviously not it. I'm hearing... I'm hearing this for saying it's like put them out of their misery. That's so bizarre. It's like when I tell you all those iguanas were mating, but one of them was like biting the other in the neck, like screw you, stay, stay, stay still. Like it was the weirdest, it was the weirdest act, y'all. These people could even be like bitter to do the deed together. Like, I don't know what this is that I'm reading. I'm done. There's no passion in our relationship. It's so crazy that I, re I refer to that iguana scene and I'm seeing this. 
These people are having a very hard... I'm telling you, I'm hearing honeymoon bliss. Spirit is so sarcastic about these two. I don't know who's, who's, who's... I'm hearing who's karmic or who's masculine this is. This is a divine masculine, I feel. So-called, I'm hearing so-called divine masculine who chose a karmic path over their divine path. I feel like this is someone who... Maybe they're currently going through their awakening and that's why this karmic is mad because this awakening is bringing about such mental anguish and grief but it's opening them to the truth and from that truth they can't even lay with this person and i don't know if that iguana is representative of a person trying to force it you can't force love you can't force love that's why this came out in the reverse. It's a lose-lose. It always will be because you can't force love. I literally heard put them out of their misery. I just heard a firework go off. I feel like the angels are doing something because that's the first card out, judgment. my goodness this is so sad like someone sold the person a dream they fell for it and then i really feel somebody was like okay i'm going to apply myself here I, you know what's so interesting i didn't even see their counterparts energy other than them being demonized trying to make someone else look bad does not make you look better okay someone here needed that because it's like how do you go demonize another person? I feel they don't even know, right? To make themselves look better. That says a lot about your character already. There's someone here who, this is a commitment card in the reverse. This has everything to do with, I feel, a proposal. Someone is expecting a person to propose. But it's the who. It is the who. Someone has put so much pressure on someone to commit to them. And I've picked up on this pesky, nasty energy before. It's like, you can't force this. If a person doesn't have it in their heart to do it, I, as a woman, <laughs> with self-respect, it's like, it depends, right? Everybody has their timeline. Like, for some of you, you're like, oh, well, if I know within a year. Others of you, oh, I need to know within two years. Either way, I feel like this, there's this little TikTok test, right? The TikTok test goes as follows. This woman, right, records her and her boyfriend. And she calls him husband in the video, even though that's not her husband. She was like, yeah, me and my husband are at, I don't know, Dunkin' Donuts and we're going to get. And there are two reactions these men give in this TikTok challenge. The first reaction, some of them are like, she called me her husband and you'll just see them blushing and you'll see them like <laughs> getting all happy and they love the sound of that that's someone who's in love that's someone who can't wait to be that woman's husband and then you have the others who are like i'm not your husband don't call me that i would have broke up with him rassle right then and there because i'm sorry what i'm not a placeholder what do i look like <laughs> what do i look like y'all am i a placeholder am i warming someone else's seat if so go find her right i couldn't i personally could not this is someone who does not want to propose to a person because they actually want to do it to someone else and I really feel this energetic energy of the divine is so sick and tired of seeing this person in their unawakened behavior. It's I literally heard put them out of their misery. What does that even mean? What would what what would even come of that? Yeah. This is why it's not working. This is someone going through their spiritual awakening. It says, I'm going through a spiritual awakening. As I felt, because all that mental anguish, all that emotional turmoil, they're being spiritually awakened to themselves. And when they wake up in the spirit, when they wake up and their soul has been activated, for some of you, it has something to do with this eclipse season. 
Nobody can manipulate them otherwise. Not without them catching on to it. This is someone who's going through a whole ass spiritual awakening while a karmic is trying to pin them down for marriage. Yeah. <laughs> it makes no sense. It makes no sense. It's like a person struggling with two sides of themselves. The side of themselves that's waking up, who knows this is not the one, and the other side of themselves that wants to please this person. I can feel it. It's like, well, do I do this? Do I give in to this person? And rah, rah, rah. It's like the longer they take, the uglier this character becomes because it really wants something solid. I'm hearing this person is entitled because you accepted my offer. You accepted my offer. This person could be holding this person accountable to things. That person's in denial. They know this is not their person. They know they're not, they don't love them like that. They know that's very sad. I personally wouldn't want to commit to somebody who I know doesn't love me. It makes me really sad, y'all. Like, after three years, it makes me really sad to think that, you know, manipulation and the upper hand. And it's like, don't people marry for love anymore? Why does it have to be a fight? Don't people marry for love anymore? Like... Has the world really gone to that stage? <laughs> That's a commitment and a union before God. Why would you move forward and go before God from grief, ego, or not grief? Wow, for me to say grief, I wanted to say greed. If this person makes it down that aisle, they're going to be in absolute grief. Like... That should be the happiest day of your life. Well, one of them. It's crazy to me. It's really wild to me what I'm reading here. Um, sad. That's so sad. This person isn't in any state, emotionally or mentally, to even be thinking about those matters. So whoever this is, holding on to them for dear life. <laughs> Somebody here could be looking at old photos with a person that someone has demonized, as I said, forbidden, right? This person is looking at old photos in regret about their choices. We have abundance in the reverse. We have gossip. That's why I said too many fingers in this pie. It's a mess. Yeah. Restless and codependency. This is the person they're dealing with. Look. This person will literally hold on to this individual's leg on their way out. They're... they're <laughs> If they could microchip this person, they would. If they already, if they haven't already done that, they need to know where this person's going, where they're coming back. This is someone who's really like fed up, and it's like if this is how you are at this stage in the game, imagine when you're actually booed up. I I feel the asleep have so much more to answer to when they wake up in their decisions than the awakened. Oh my god, I can't make it up till death do us part. I'm telling you, someone wants marriage. A hot mess, y'all. To each their own. Obstacles, determined, and perseverance. Yeah, this is another obstacle this person needs to overcome. Forgive and forget. Somebody is, is very unforgiving about this. Someone doesn't want to settle. They want to look. It says quid pro quo. I helped you. For some of you, this person helped this individual with a favor. So it's like, it's only fair you now 
give to me tit for tat quid pro quo this person won't forgive them like i don't know why i feel this very unforgiving energy i'm hearing but you promised sus dishonest questionable untrustworthy somebody here might um not trust the person even in in financial matters they find them suspicious i'm also hearing who they work with could be suspicious tower moment explosive destructive and sudden change i'm telling you the divine is gonna is gonna bring the hammer down on this situation we have black magic psychic tarot reader intuitive and fortune teller yeah there is an intuitive around they could have demonized this person to be some kind of witch or warlock when they're just wise <laughs> okay this owl is like i'm on top of everything 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 there's a difference between being a seer and a control freak, <laughs> right? It's like, it's one thing to be a seer, but there's a whole different thing between being a seer and a control freak, okay? <laughs> My gosh. Dang. Hmm. My goodness. What's with these photos? I don't know if someone keeps looking at photos. I don't know if someone went to get a photo reading, like they brought the person's picture to somebody. weird chopping blocks slice and dice harsh cutoffs cat and mouse game runner chaser no one wants to lose it's in the reverse i feel like the divine feminine's energy isn't even in this reading i'm hearing no association someone is getting cut off someone is getting cut off please expand yeah tell me more yeah you know who cut off who the divine feminine the one they demonized <laughs> the, the queen of wands to that king of wands with a death card their counter their actual person <laughs> with the six of swords has boom, been moved on away from a situation death speaks of endings i feel like that's what maybe gave this person an epiphany around something pretentious and that is considered an illusion for some of you, that pinhead, okay, that pinhead character in the middle could lose both situations. That's what this reads like. Because I'm seeing a stiff ending to clarify the harsh cutoff. A, a queen of wands, which is the external, situ external from the situation, being moved away from a situation. Someone could literally move, okay? And I'm seeing a huge shift, a pivotal point, an epiphany here. This could happen even, I'm hearing during the eclipse, this eight, this April 8th is significant. Oh my gosh. This could happen anywhere within the next week or two. Because this pretentious situation is going to be blown to bits. I literally heard, put them out of their misery. Again, I don't know who's in a miserable situation, but it's one of these situations. I'm getting an energy of a couple who's in a miserable situation. Something's going to happen very suddenly that's very unpleasant. Wow. A mess. Um, yeah. I'm also hearing that's this person's karma. So Divine Feminine, if you're in this situation, I'd say you might have been the person who cut this person off. I'm hearing not my monkey, not my circus. Okay. yeah these pictures someone has pictures i don't know if someone found pictures on a person's phone can i get message for the divine feminine so i'm hearing it's up to you with the moon card this re this judgment to the six of cups the divine is ensuring these two cross paths again why i don't know with the Hierophant, it's giving me this energy of God sees it through. Eight of Wands, somebody might want to communicate to a person. And what you do with this connection coming back around is entirely up to you. We have the Fool. Someone watched their counterpart take a leap of faith. And this is making them have the sense of direction they never had before. Yeah, because now they know. Now they're very much aware who their end-all be-all is. It's like, 
I feel a divine feminine energy is very upset because like why does it take for all this <laughs> for somebody to realize what who the one was but sometimes people learn the hard way and I don't say that to excuse this person's behavior at all but this is someone who they're in the process of their awakening and who you are and decisions you make before your awakening are very different from who you are and the decisions you make after your, your, the, your spiritual awakening. The divine woke this person up. That's how everyone is put out of their misery. It's like you're going to wake up today <laughs> to see the truth of everything you've decided back then. Now this person's seeing things. They're having, they're having dreams. Their thoughts are excessive. And they're going through a lot of emotional turmoil. That's an awakening. This person is going through an awakening. And because of it, now they're restless with someone attached to their hip who is literally wrestling them for some time, for some attention, for some intimacy. It's, it's like, it's bringing the ugly out of this person who they're attached to because they're paranoid that they're leaving them or not wanting to commit to them. And it's like, Again, <laughs> I have explained enough. This is really sad. This is a really sad scene here. I don't know if this is literally what happened, but it's literally feeling that way. I'm hearing put everyone out of their misery. It's just too much. That's what I have for you. If this read resonated, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye.